Hi, cześć, hola, welcome to Miles of Steps. This is the place where you can learn how to see from the other perspective, get to know some nerdy information and learn how to travel with awareness. Let me take you on a trip. Today we are in a Vatican in the smallest country in the world. It's 0.44 square kilometer. If you can imagine, it is one of the eight of the size of the Central Park in New York City. Vatican has 825 citizens. In 2019, just before the lockdown, the amount of people who visit this place was 6.9 million. How you can imagine, this is a really huge difference in the number. Why there is just 825 people who are citizens of Vatican? Vatican has one rule. You are not able to be a Vatican citizen, citizen by a birth. There is no hospitals, there is no delivery rooms, and due to that, that is just impossible. The only way is to do a service to a holy. And whenever someone is finishing the service, the citizenship is disappearing. So today we are so lucky that actually the Pope is coming to the Vatican, to the, <laughs> to the church to pray. That means that uh, it, everything is closing faster. So let's see how much time we will have to record the videos and also tell you everything about this really spectacular place. One of the treasures of Vatican City is a remarkable work of Michelangelo and Raphael. Here you can see the art being alive. I cannot comprehend it, I cannot describe it with the different words. It is just spectacular, mysterious, it is over any expectations which you could have. Wow! One of the biggest pieces of art in St. Peter's Basilica is Pieta. Pieta was designed by Michelangelo and now it's just behind huge glass. Why? Because a few years ago there was a man who jumped and destroyed Pieta with a hammer just because he wanted. So now after restoration they decided to keep it safe and protected from any accidental situations. I just realized how my eyes are shining when I'm looking at it, just because I by mistake put the wrong camera. But yeah, it's so spectacular, beautiful. All the popes are buried here. All the statues represent them, their journey and everything what was important for Christianity. This is the biggest Christian church in the world and the feeling of it it's so spiritual like I cannot even describe it being not a religious person but having this feeling it's so mysterious and so secret the last pope buried was Jean Paul II from Poland, so from my dear country. And now we are in a phenomenon because it's the um, first time in history when we have two popes, and it's uh, Benedict and Francisco. 
In the 19th century, there was a moment where all these beautiful paintings start to destroy it. And what's happened, and what's really important to keep the spectacular feeling and the well quality of the art. This is why they actually are mosaics made from glass and from marble. This is just for preventing it to be destroyed and keep it in a really high quality for the future generation. One of the artists of St. Peter Basilica was Bernini. He designed this place thinking of making it full of bronze. But where at this time they could actually gather so much of material like that? If you will go to Pantone, you can easily see that the porch is quite bare today. They were actually taking materials from other buildings to create this spectacular masterpiece. Really interesting, but other things got destroyed. This is how it was many times that to create something bigger, they just needed to take the material from other places. St. Peter's Basilica was built in 120 years, but the last work, the last fountain, was made by Bernini, which finished work in 1675. And here, there, is a Pope window. This is the place from which he's talking to people. Pope Julius II decided to have his own guards and he created pontifical Swiss guards which are protecting the popes till now. At this time when he was ruling, it was really important for the security of Christianity and himself today. There is 135 Swiss guards which are specifically having a special clothing, as you can see behind me. The regulation to be a guard is first to be a man, second has a range of age between 19 till 30, and the third one they has to have at least 176 centimeters of height. All of them has military service and they are the one, the closest to the Pope. For all people which like to read, there is a book of Dan Brown, Angels and Demons. It is perfectly describing Vatican and situations around here. You can get to know a secrets which are real, just the plot of the story. It is a fictional. In this story of Dan Brown book, it was the Illuminati which were actually killing bishops. And one of the places where the bishop was killed in this story was here, on the plaza, where is this symbol. So what is really nice, in this element, you can see the wind, which is going out of the mouth. Check it out, the book is really nice. If you are going to Vatican, you need to remember about really strict dress code. And what does it mean? Long sleeve, long trousers. Trousers are not ripped. Nothing that has a light going through. No dresses, no short skirts, not crop tops, not anything like that. If you have a hat, you need to take it off. The hat is only permitted if it is sun and just for a man. How you can see, I also have a really cool shirt. This shirt is completely designed by me. And of course, if you are willing to have one of the Mice of Step shirts, then just contact me on my email, which I'm linking here. One more thing is that the Vatican City is completely considered as a world heritage. In 1984, Vatican City was officially designated hold the city as a world heritage. It's like going in between a museum, I'm telling you. Vatican City became sovereign state on 11 February 1929. It was at this moment when they signed Lateran Treaty and at this time the Pope became a head of the state of the Vatican. Italian language is the official language of the Vatican City. It is used for all diplomatic affairs, but also for writing all the official documentation. 
by the time of Roman Empire, it was a Latin language. Latin language is still remaining between the Pope, yes, of course. However, if you would like to have your Latin experience, I'm really inviting you to go to the ATM in Vatican. That is the only place where you can actually find it. For a moment with the glasses. Despite of that, that Vatican City is not in Eurozone and not in European Union, they have uh, the official currency of Euro. In the year of 2000, they done an agreement with Rome that they will use Euro. All the coins which are coming from Vatican are having the Pope image on the back of the coin. So whenever you will see that you have one, think of the journey which this coin took because it is not really common to find it. If you ever wonder, Vatican City has also its football team. They are actually the policemen's guards, which are the team player, but it is a really small, nice team, which played under the colors of yellow and white Sistine Chapel. It's also the place where it's Pope Conclave, that's mean where the next Pope is selected. Then the old bishops are coming to a Sistine Chapel. They are locked inside with a special plumb on the door, so they are for sure not bothered by anyone who could enter, and they are voting. Every single cardinal has a possibility to give a one vote. After that, they are counting the number. If the Pope is selected, then from the chimney is going a white smoke. But if not, the smoke is black. What's happened next? No one is leaving the Sistine Chapel. The voting is repeated, repeated so many times till that moment when the smoke will be white and they will actually choose the next Pope. part to know is from where came two keys which are in the Vatican flag. And if we are going back by the history of Christianity, there is believed that Jesus gave the keys to Saint Peter. From that also came the name of Saint Peter's Basilica. One of the key was silver and the other one was golden. The silver one was guaranteeing you life on earth but the golden one was guaranteeing the entrance to heaven. The Emperor Nero, back in history, was pursuing Christians. And what he'd done, he imprisoned Saint Peter and later sentenced to death. They wanted to crucify him. However, Saint Peter decided that he does not want to die like a Jesus. So the crucifixion was upside down. These representations of the cross are actually very meaningful if you know the story of St. Peter's. Francisco is the actual Pope right now. He is the head of the state of Vatican, but also in sort of ways a president. So all the important decisions are on his shoulders. He's not so common Pope as the Christianity had before. He refused to leave where popes were living because it was too much. He wanted something really simple. So it's really nice to see how the new Pope is humble and open to a changing society and the future. Vatican City is the only nation in the world which has no prison. They have rooms for waiting for the judgment. However, all the prisoners are going to Rome. Of course, Vatican is paying for it. However, itself, they do not have any prison nor hospital.
many historians, but also just people who are curious would like to know about the archives and the library of the Vatican. That is the one of the biggest secrets of many historical events in the world, going from the execution of the Galileo or the World War and the taking part of European Union. Who, what happened? The Vatican knows most of the secrets. However, one day, maybe the secrets of Vatican will be between us and the history will get connected not just by the dots but by the really nice line between them. If you will have a chance to walk in a museum of Vatican you will see that many sculptures that not have genitalia. The reason why is that Pope Paul IV after 1555 decided that the genitalia are actually not the good representation of clarity because the damned were naked and the saved were clothed. He ordered to cover the genitalia with a fig leaf. This is why we commonly know this as a part of the art, but it wasn't originally. After that, many popes, up to even 1,700 something, they were changing the way how they were imagining this representation of the art should look. The genitalia were cut off. Some of them were covered with different material or the fig leaf were just stick in. Some people are just wondering what they've done with all of this poor genitalia which they cut off. But that is not in my video. <laughs> and there is one more really interesting story. So if you know the Beatles, most likely you know John Lennon. John Lennon in 1966 said in the interview that they are bigger than a Jesus. The Vatican got at this time really offended and they were condemned. After 42 years in Vatican newspaper you could see that they are finally forgiven. If you like the experience with Miles of Steps going around the Vatican, please give a like, subscribe, or leave a comment. I'm really happy what you are thinking about. If you actually like it, or maybe it is something really important what I forgot to mention, let's share the knowledge here below and hope to see you soon. Bye! As you can see, for now I'm presenting you one shirt, which is from Adventure Collection. There is only time between one place and another. I was already testing these shirts for a while and they were with me in India, they were with me in Italy and in many other places where I had been traveling. I'm really in love with that shirt. So yes, why not to share that love with you? <laughs> so if you would like one, please just write me an email and I will get back to you with the details. Ah, and as you can see, there's also cool mag. <laughs>